Whee! Down the hill we go. And cool. At least spun the Agra truck out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Calmlands. This is the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming. And we've reached episode 33. The grass dryer is what we put in last time and that's been busy processing overnight and as mentioned we did set it to distributing rather than storing to see if it would fill up the cow farm. Uh, it hasn't, it has actually taken it and stored it in our fermenting silo so we've got a very large volume of hay now in the fermenting silo so I'm going to have to come and grab some of that hay and take it to the cows but not before we are finally going to be selling some cows. That's right, they've reproduced, so we have a rather nice volume to take for sale. So we've now got three sets of 112 Angus cows, and we've got the most expensive at 2958, that's the peak price, that's now going to drop as they get older. And then we've got our mid-range, which were born some time ago and are working their way through puberty, and our newborns, which are at the cheapest, which are just getting up to health now that they've been born. So yeah, we are good to sell our eldest cows before they uh, are worth a lot less. So I'm going to jump in the Tatra, we will get the animal trailer, and load up some cows and take them to the animal dealer. Now we shall hitch up to the trailer. It's been a long time since we used this and I think the animal point is over the other side of the cow farm. So we can pull up and pick up our most expensive cows and we can take a total of 56 at a time. So we're going to have to come back and do another trip. There we go, they are all loaded, so let's head on over to the animal dealer. And Nordic is busy getting some pig food for the pigs. And after he's done that, he will also be selling some pigs because they have also been breeding like rabbits, or like pigs in this case. And we've got quite a few to sell as well. So it really is animal selling day. A bit heavy hauling all these cows up the hill. The farmhouse field is just to the right and that's what we mowed up and foraged last time and put that in our grass dryer to convert into hay and that's going to really keep the cows well fed for the foreseeable. And we've got our corn and also our sunflower field to the left. That needs another day or so and the plan is that after we've done this morning's worth of animal selling and feeding Nordic and I are going to be skipping ahead to when the corn and sunflower is ready to harvest and we can get those harvests underway. We will need to purchase a corn header for our new New Holland harvesters. Right, the animal dealer is just round the corner from this area. Right, we're at the animal dealer with the first load of cows and we can sell all 56 of these for 165,000. Wow, so we are getting good money and that's only half. So that is the first half of the cows sold. I'm going to nip back and get the second load and see you when we're finished. Right, we are back at the cow farm and we've done our second load, another $165,000. So we are up to 1 million, which is fantastic. So we're just going to swap trucks with Nordic. He's going to go and sell some piggies. So we will leave that there nicely for him. Hello, Nordic. 
There he is. Right, yeah, we're going to finish loading up some hay for the cows, which Nordic has kindly been topping up. Swapping to the Stroutman trailer because that's a bit easier for unloading in the cow shed. And we will load it up with hay. We've got 192,000 litres in here, and that was up to 300,000 litres at the start of the day. So I think our grass dryer made around 150,000 litres overnight, which is pretty good going. Here we are, cows. And the reason why we fed them after we've sold the batch of them is so that we are not overfilling the cow pen before we sell them because then that seems to reduce the capacity of the cow farm and we would end up wasting hay. All right, we've got 17,000 litres left so we can drop that back in the silo and move on to the next jobs. All right, whilst Nordic is off selling some pigs, I'm just going to reorder this shed a little bit so we've got some of the trailers parked next to each other and the forage wagons parked in the same bay okay done a bit of reordering so the forage wagons are now next to each other and nordic is back from selling the pigs and we are now up to one million and thirty eight thousand so we didn't sell as many pigs as we plan to because some are at 50 percent reproduction so it makes sense for us to just wait until they give birth so cows we're back down to 224 now they're all at a uh, reasonable health well the younger cows are building in health but they've got plenty of hay and a good amount of water and the slightly elder cows are 55 percent through puberty so after that's completed they will have their reproduction process and then we'll get another 112 cows and for the pigs, yet yeah, we've still got some at the highest price of 1200 but they're halfway through reproduction. So it makes sense we keep those until they're finished and then sell them. So that's all the jobs done for this morning. And Nordic and I are going to skip ahead for when our corn and sunflowers are ready to harvest. And there we go. We're now in February and our corn and sunflowers are ready to harvest. With the corn in hillside field and the field next to the farmyard are both ready to harvest with the corn and the sunflower so Nordic and I are going to jump in the harvesters and we need to get a corn header that's going to be able to harvest both of those crops and here we are we're in the new New Holland and we'll beacon on and head over to the dealership to get some corn headers Our corn is lovely and golden. Right, Nordic is just purchasing our headers for us, as he knows which ones we need. Lovely job. So we spent 376k on these two, but it's going to be worth it because they are a rather large header, and we've managed to get them not in the exact New Holland colours. It's the Challenger colours, but uh, they seem to match pretty okay. And there we go. It's a rather large header, considering it's folded up. It's going to be pretty massive when it's unfolded. But let's head over to the field. Hopefully we'll get out of the dealership. And Nordic is getting straight to it. So we will also come out of here and unfold. We need to unfold the harvester quite promptly as well. And get in position to follow Nordic. But let's switch on and get underway and leap round and follow him fantastic so we are harvesting our lovely corn so we're going to see to this and then once we're finished we'll move on to the sunflower field
snaking round for the last row. And that is all of our corn harvested. Now it's worth saying that this field has yielded absolutely fantastically. We've probably nearly got two full trailer loads. And that's meant that Nordic and I had to unload, I think, four times on just the first headland. Which is pretty crazy, but very much welcomed. We never say no to the large yields. But we did find out that the header on this is very, very wide. So wide that it is larger than our auger pipe. But not to worry, we can luckily fold these up and then extend the pipe to unload into the trailer. So we'll unload this 10,000 litres of corn and get that dropped off in the silo. Probably a trailer and three quarters by my guesstimate. All right, we're getting set for the sunflower harvest. But before that, we will drop off this 67,000 litres of corn into the silo, along with what we've already deposited there. Whee! Down the hill we go. And cool, nearly spun the agri truck out. In it goes. And that's 145,000 litres of corn in there. I think we did have some before we harvested that already in the silo, but still looking nice in terms of corn stocks. And that's going to be helpful for filling up the pig food factory. Right, I think we'll set the agri truck somewhere up on this path here. And we can run and jump in the harvester and start our sunflower harvest. So let's fire into action and we can head into our sunflower field. Set the cruise and get to it. A smaller field, so probably won't take us as long. See you when we're done. sunflower harvest all done actually I tell a lie there is a small piece here which I missed earlier which must confess and collect wouldn't be right if we left that poor little sunflower just here but yeah we'll get that harvested and then we can unload obviously didn't yield as high as the corn did but still looking pretty good for the size of the field the yield indicator did tell us that we were up to 120% of yield potential, so that is really, really good. It's unloaded, and this field is going to be a one-time field, really. We ploughed this up a few sessions beforehand and put sunflowers in it, but Nordic and I have actually opted to convert this field into an extended yard space. The yard is very full, and we have too much for what we have sheds and we'll get that planned in one of the following sessions but let's get this uh, washed and stowed away and we can move on to what's next wow this is very dirty but we'll get that all nicely cleaned up and this is what i meant by lack of yard space we've had to drop some equipment just in this weird little field here but no more next session nordic and i will look to improve the yard space 
let's get the new Holland parked up and then we've actually got to go and spray weed spray herbicide the cow farm field which has got the sorghum which we drilled last time and I am going to come along and top up the nitrogen on it with fertilizer because seemingly when we check the precision farming map it did not have 100% uh, of the nitrogen it needed so the slurry spreader only added a base layer of nitrogen to it and we'll have to top it up parked up let's jump in the TA I think that's going to be good for pulling the fertilizer and we will grab the ammo zone I think this has got fertilizer in it from when Nordic fertilized the cowman field all right we'll get that refilled with fertilizer and Nordic is herbiciding so that is a little bit of a slower process so what we'll do is let him get a head start by taking the sunflower back to the silo let's get this dropped off nicely deposited in there and we've got 37,692 litres of sunflower so that will keep us slightly stocked for the pig food as well there we go, we can see Nordic herbiciding the sorghum. Now we'll get the trailer parked up quickly and then we can come along and top it up with fertilizer as well. Right, we are pulling into cow farm field. Now we might need to rename this to pig farm field because it's more closer to the pig farm and we of course have cow man field now which has been renamed from a combination of farmyard field and hitman field probably going to change this to pig farm field but we shall see okay we can get started but because the crop has grown somewhat we are going to need to turn the minimap on so we can actually see where we have been otherwise it's a little bit tricky so let's head on in and switch on and there we go we can see clearly now where we are going and it seems like this strip up the top particularly didn't get covered very well with the nitrogen that it needs and it's topping it up you can see the precision farming menu in the top left doing its thing getting it to where it needs to be so I thought that the digestate that we sprayed and spread last time was going to give it the maximum nitrogen it needed but seemingly didn't and that just provides a base layer which we then need to top up with man-made fertilizer so I'm going to get this done. Nordic is busy spraying the herbicide and hopefully we're not going to clash. So that's fertilizer spread all over the pig farm field with sorghum in and that should be now not needing to be touched until it's ready for harvesting because it's been herbicided and now topped up with fertilizer. So we're going to dash back and get this stuff parked up and then it's February which is the best sell time for maple syrup and we've got a fair old wadge of maple syrup pallets so Nordic and I are going to hop in the truck get the pallet trailer and take that to the cell point which is now down next to the confectionery which is busy making donuts right so we're in the trucks Nordic has come along to pick up the maple syrup and we'll take that down to the cell point I'm just following in the Tatra because nothing left for me to do today Nordic is ready to go so let's follow him down to the production area and get this maple syrup sold. Nordic has been hurtling along the road 
I hope that maple syrup's going to make it there safely. Okay, here we go. So he's going to be looping round to sell this. And whilst he's doing that, we can check in on the old donuts and see how they are doing. Oh, we've got quite a few pallets now. That's looking pretty handy. Right, that's the last of the maple syrup sold. And we're back up to 948k, which is pretty good. And here are our donuts. They're looking a bit bland, if I'm honest. I think we need to probably get a slightly different donut factory, one that's going to do icing. I've seen that there's one that does strawberry and chocolate donuts and just glazed donuts. But yeah, these are looking a bit more like bagels, if I'm honest. But there we go. We have got quite a few, so we will be taking them to sell once we get to the best sell price time. But that is it for today. It's been a busy one harvesting our sunflowers and corn. And we also sold some cows and some pigs. So the Calm Farm bank account is looking pretty damn good. Hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. Check out Nordic's channel for his perspective of today's session. And until next time on Calm Lands, we will see you then. Cheers all. Bye bye.